One of the changes arriving in the January update is a big improvement to the way that the browser handles downloads. So in the past, if you wanted to download a file in the browser, you could only send it directly to another application. And if you didn't have an application installed that could handle that sort of file, you just couldn't download it. Um, you can still send uh, a download directly to an application by choosing this uh, Choose an Application button, and it will show you the apps that you have installed that can handle that sort of file. But you can also select the Download button, and it will download internally within the browser. So this takes you to the brand new downloads page where you can see all your previous downloads. You can see the status of ongoing downloads, uh, which you can also see in the system transfer indicator up here. Uh, and we've made some changes to the download manager so that if, for example, you close the browser and restart it, it's able to reconnect to any ongoing downloads and it also get notified of any downloads that finished whilst it was closed. In fact, you can even uh, finish a download with the browser closed and restart your phone, and the browser will still be notified the next time you start it after having started your phone up again. So once a download's complete, uh, you can just click on it, and it will allow you to open it with whatever application you fancy. Uh, one of the changes we made to the download and the transfer indicator now means that third-party developers can show their downloads in the transfer indicator. So if we open up Podbird, which is my podcast client, uh, and I will select a podcast to download. Uh, let's go with the Monkey Wedding podcast because it's funny and a bit naughty and set a download going. See, it's got its progress there, but we can also see it in the transfer indicator as well. So there's a whole bunch of other uh, improvements we made to the download manager to make life easier for developers that I'll probably detail in a accompanying blog post or something. Um, but other than that, look forward to trying this out in January on the stable channels. It's already available on the RC proposed channel if you fancy playing with it now. And... Have a happy Christmas.